Welcome to TPM Vids Disney Beat, where we talk about all things Disney. If you're new to the channel and like what you see, hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon to be notified when we upload a new video. You can also find us on all your favorite social media platforms. 2023 was quite a big year for the Disney theme parks, and although it's going to be a hard year to top, 2024 still has some exciting things in store. So let's get ready for another action-packed year at Walt Disney World and Disneyland as we count down the top 10 new rides and attractions coming in 2024. Number 10. All-day park hopping has really been missed, but beginning January 9th, 2024, all-day park hopping at Walt Disney World is making its grand return. If you have park hopper tickets or an annual pass, well, you can head to Hollywood Studios for a couple of rides first thing in the morning, then by 9.30, already be on your way to Epcot. I cannot tell you how happy I am to have regular park hopping back. And there's another piece of good news. Also beginning January 9th, park reservations are no longer needed for dated ticket holders, which is a big relief. Annual pass holders and some other ticket holders will still need to make reservations, though. Earlier in 2023, Disneyland updated their park hopping time to 11 a.m., and at this time, it sounds like it will be staying in place for 2024, in addition to still needing park reservations. This could change at any point, though, so it'll be interesting to see if they follow the footsteps of Walt Disney World. Number 9 Disneyland's Haunted Mansion is getting ready to welcome some big changes next year. On January 21st, 2024, the attraction will close for an extended refurbishment, and no reopening date has been announced. During this time, the grounds of the attraction are going to be expanded, and Disney said the additions will build on the story and lore of the Haunted Mansion. This includes completely extending the outdoor queue and finally adding a Haunted Mansion gift shop to the ride's exit. The space right now is pretty much just trees, so the gift shop will create a nice transition into Tiana's Bayou Adventure next door. Also, the new extended queue appears to be taking over part of the plaza, including that old Fastpass gazebo which hasn't been used in years. The queue always spills into the plaza, so this is a much needed expansion. And speaking of the plaza, this area will also be reworked. Just for context, this brick wall is the backside of the new Haunted Mansion queue, and it appears we'll also be losing the fountain in the middle. It will open things up a lot more, while still maintaining that elegant park feel. Now, rumors have it that there will be no regular Haunted Mansion in 2024. When the ride reopens, it will go right back into Haunted Mansion Holiday, since Halloween at Disneyland next year begins on August 23rd. It's a lot earlier than previous years. This exterior expansion is a pretty big project, so 6-7 to seven month timeline seems pretty reasonable. Number 8 If you're a Country Bear Jamboree fan, you better experience the Magic Kingdom attraction soon because the show as we know it will be gone forever next year. Disney is actually debuting a brand new version of the Country Bear Jamboree in 2024. The Bears are going to be reinterpreting their favorite Disney songs in a variety of country music genres. The show will be a tribute to classical music reviews in Nashville. Now behind the scenes, work on this project is well underway, and the recording of all the songs is definitely completed. At Destination D, Disney shared this peek into the recording session of The Bear Necessities. Take a look. Let's give this thing a try. We're rolling. One, two, one, two, three. Look for those bear necessities. That's how a bear can rest at ease. The simple bear necessities of life. So far, this is the only Disney song that's officially been announced. But if they really work in that country bear humor, this whole concept should be a fresh take on a show for a new generation of audiences. Like just imagine all the bears singing We Don't Talk About Bruno. That would be perfect. Now with the update, I'm really hoping the animatronics will be spruced up a bit and we can probably expect new costumes like what's seen in the poster for sure. 
The last time the attraction went through an extensive refurbishment was in 2012, and it was only for two months. So it is possible that we could see the Country Bear Jamboree closing early 2024, then reopening just a couple months later with the new show. We just have to stay tuned for exact dates. Number 7 The Epcot overhaul has truly been a multi-year transformation. Back on December 5th, the central hub of World Celebration finally opened, including Dreamer's Point with the statue of Walt Disney. Now, although everything should have been completed by now, we're gonna have to wait until next year for Communicore Hall. The exterior of the building looks almost complete, but who knows how far along they are inside. Now, once it finally does open, Communicore Hall will be Epcot's festival support center. This piece of concept art gives you an idea of what the gallery will look like, and you can see Figment is prominently featured, which is a nice surprise. In addition to the gallery, there will also be a mixology bar and a demo kitchen inside. Communicore Hall will also be home to a Mickey and Friends meet and greet. I'm assuming the lineup of characters will be the same as before with Mickey, Minnie, and Goofy, but who knows what other characters might get put in there. Then on the left-hand side of the Mickey and Friends meet and greet, there is the festival stage that will host live performances during all of Epcot's festivals. Once that's open, this will add a bit more kinetic energy into the hub because although it looks beautiful, it is lacking a little bit of kinetics. Although Communicore Hall has officially been delayed until 2024, no exact date or season has been announced. If I had to guess, I'd say this will be open in time for the Flower and Garden Festival, which kicks off on February 28th, 2024. Let's see if it's ready by then. Number 6 Fantasmic at Disneyland has not been performed since the Maleficent Dragon caught fire in April of 2023. It was such an unfortunate event, but on May 24th, 2024, more than a year later, the Nighttime Spectacular will return, finally bringing all that magic back to the rivers of America. Now, during its long hiatus, Disney has been taking the time to add new special effects to the show. Although the animatronic dragon will not be returning just yet, there will be a new battle scene between Sorcerer Mickey and Maleficent. Plus, as a surprise, we'll be saying goodbye to Captain Jack Sparrow and welcoming the return of the far superior Peter Pan scene. When the pirate scene debuted in 2017, it always seemed a bit jarring and out of place with it being the only live-action IP in the show. I know that a lot of Disney fans will welcome Peter Pan back with open arms. Now, even though Murphy was burnt to a crisp, it doesn't sound like the animatronic is gone for good. I have heard a rumor that a brand new Murphy animatronic is being built, but it will debut at a later time. So if the rumor turns out to be true, this is very exciting news. Fantasmic is a show that has been dearly missed, and it's going to be so great to see the show back at Disneyland in 2024. Number 5 Pixar Fest is returning to the Disneyland Resort beginning April 26th, and a brand new Pixar parade will debut at Disney California Adventure. Better Together, a Pixar Pals celebration is the new parade that will make its way through the park. Even though Disney is saying this is an all-new parade, it seems like the Luxo Jr. float is being recycled from the Pixar Play Parade. However, one for sure new addition joining Better Together is an entire float based on Turning Red. It features Red Panda May, Abby, Priya, and all the boys of Four Town. I am so glad we're getting face characters of all of this cast. Now, seeing as how Luxo Jr. is probably being recycled, I wouldn't be surprised if a couple of other floats from the Pixar Play Parade are reused, like Up, Inside Out, and Toy Story. Since there has been quite a few new Pixar films in the last five years, maybe some of these new characters will also be incorporated somehow. I'm actually really looking forward to seeing what they do with this new parade. Then over at Disneyland, Together Forever, a Pixar Nighttime Spectacular will be returning to Disneyland featuring a couple of new scenes as well. Pixar Fest will run from April 26 until August 4th. Number 4 Star Tours is another attraction that will be seeing changes in 2024. The attraction at Hollywood Studios, Disneyland in California, and Disneyland Paris will all be seeing brand new stories and characters added, including Ahsoka. 
Currently, Star Tours visits 11 planets with many different characters, so it'll be interesting to see what new planets we'll visit and how Ahsoka will be incorporated. With Star Tours, you're guaranteed a different ride every time, and it's always a unique selection of the five different scenes. There are dozens, if not hundreds, of combinations that are possible, and these new missions and scenes will add just that much more. The new missions are set to debut in spring of 2024, and it's sounding like it's gonna be April. Season of the Force begins at Disneyland on April 5th, and that runs until June 2nd. In addition to the return of Hyperspace Mountain, the new Star Tours missions are set to debut during the celebration, and I wouldn't be surprised if the rollout is simultaneous for Hollywood Studios and Disneyland Paris. Number 3 When Magic Happens at Disneyland ended its run in late 2023, fans were hopeful that it wasn't the end for good. Well, thankfully, the catchy score of the Magic Happens Parade will return to Disneyland on February 2nd. I am so glad this parade is coming back because it's filled with so much energy, there's a great variety of characters, old and new, and did I mention how catchy the soundtrack is? Get ready for February 2nd. Then over at Disney California Adventure, it's rumored that Rogers the Musical will be making its return to the Hyperion Theater at some point in 2024. No exact dates have been confirmed or announced. Rogers the Musical was based off a musical sequence from an episode of Hawkeye that featured the life of Steve Rogers, otherwise known as Captain America. The adapted 35-minute musical premiered on June 30th, 2023 for a strictly limited two-month run. Since Disney spent so much money developing this brand new show, it only makes sense for it to be returning, especially since it was really well received by guests. And now with Avengers Campus right there, a long-term Marvel-based show makes a lot of sense for the Hyperion Theater. Number 2 One of the most anticipated openings of 2024 is Tiana's Bayou Adventure. Construction at both Disneyland and Walt Disney World is well underway, and here at Magic Kingdom, they are moving very, very quickly. Tiana's Bayou Adventure will allow us to join Tiana, Prince Naveen, and Louis on a Mardi Gras musical adventure to the bayou as they search for the secret ingredient for Tiana's recipe. Along the way, we'll meet some new animatronic critters who have a very prominent role in the ride. 16 brand new animatronic characters are being introduced for the ride, and Disney has said dozens of animatronics will fill the scenes. This is a peek at one of the Lewis animatronics, and it looks like he'll be a pretty sophisticated figure. Then in this scene where Mama Odie displays a little bit of her magic, she's also been confirmed to be another animatronic figure. I think from everything that's been shared so far, it all looks very, very promising. Just looking at the construction progress at Magic Kingdom, the exterior of the mountain is completely transformed. Even though there's scaffolding in the way, it looks even better in person than the animated rendering Disney released. Everything is so lush, and although some people proclaim this doesn't fit into Frontierland, I think the lush setting of Tiana's Bayou Adventure will do just fine in the land. First off, it's not like Frontierland is a desert. There are trees all around the land, not to mention Tom Sawyer Island is a lush forest in itself. The new exterior of Tiana's Bayou Adventure will just complement the greenery around it and tie everything together. I mean, just look at this transformation from Splash Mountain into what's there today. It even looks like the exterior of the mountain is almost complete. This construction footage from Magic Kingdom was shot in early December, and honestly, I've never seen this many construction workers and Imagineers working all at once. They were all around the attraction, from top to bottom, and you can tell Disney is trying to get this done as quick as possible. Much different than the pace of Disney's other construction projects. They even removed the planks covering the flume at the bottom of the drop, which leads me to believe water could be flowing again pretty soon. I mean, once the exterior is completed and scaffolding comes down, it won't be long before water is flowing again. Imagineers will eventually need to ride it to adjust timing, lighting, and all that technical stuff. Plus, they'll probably start cycling empty logs too. Disneyland is a couple months behind Magic Kingdom in terms of progress, but seeing it all come together is really exciting. No exact dates have been announced, but Tiana's Bayou Adventure is still scheduled to open at both Disneyland and Magic Kingdom in 2024. 
I feel like we could see this at Magic Kingdom as early as June or July, and with Disneyland, it'll follow later in the year. We're getting closer where we can actually say we're almost there. Number 1 now at Destination D23 back in September, a lot of other attraction announcements were made, but none of them have dates. In-depth descriptions about all these announcements can be found in the video linked, but here's a brief overview of what we could potentially see close in 2024 to begin the refurbishments and expansions. I think Dinorama at Animal Kingdom, including Dinosaur, could close to begin work on the proposed Tropical Americas concept. If I had to guess, Disney will finally bite the bullet and officially announce they're going forward with the concept at D23 in August. So at this rate, I can't see anything closing until late 2024 unless something else changes. Then over at Epcot, it was announced that Test Track would be reimagined once again. And I'd say this has the potential to close in 2024. For the last refurb in 2012, Test Track closed in April and then reopened in December. So I would say a 2024 closing is likely, but a 2024 opening of the reimagined attraction is probably unlikely. Then we have It's Tough to Be a Bug at Animal Kingdom. At Destination D23, it was announced to be transforming into a new Zootopia show. I feel like this is one of those attractions that Disney will just close in 2024 at a moment's notice without any big fanfare. I mean, it happened at Disney California Adventure. So if you're at Animal Kingdom, definitely experience It's Tough to Be a Bug one last time because it could be gone forever before you know it. So we'll just have to stay tuned to see what other surprises are in store for next year. So what are you looking forward to the most at the Disney theme parks in 2024? I'd love to know! Leave a comment down below to start a conversation, and don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video.